Hello, and welcome back to another Lighthouse International module. Today, we're looking at Chapter 11, which is technology and using it to help to organize yourself. So we're going to go through today some tips for organizing yourself. This is for your personal life, but also your work life. So how technology can help you through this. So first one we're going to talk about is categorize your to-do lists to separate personal tasks and professional ones. So to-do lists are going to be very helpful, especially when you have personal and professional ones, but making sure to keep those separate is important. So whether you're using a built-in reminders app on your phone or using one from the store, all the digital to-do lists allow the user to create multiple color-coded lists for different categories and tasks. So it's going to make your life a little bit easier. For instance, we use an example here, a teacher who as a parent may have a list for the classroom, what they need for the personal stuff as well. And then household tasks and things to do for the kids, so sports and everything else. So you might have a grocery list and all these things that are different color codes. So you may have one color for kids, one color for personal, one color for work, and maybe another color for household. So some apps even allow collaborative to do lists. Um, so if helpful for working projects, but even for you and your partner, your husband or wife to send each other what you need and all that sort of stuff. So it does help a bit. Next one I'm going to talk about is book meetings using the same calendar. So programs like Teams allow you to book meetings um, with your work emails, and they send you a reminder prior and allow you to join a meeting through the calendar event. It's always good to use the same calendars, um, whether you're using the Google Calendar or Teams Calendar or anything else. It's always good to use the same one as each other so that you can make life a little bit easier when joining. But there should be an email for link, and it should add it to any. Usually it does add it to any calendar that you're currently using. So if I'm using Google calendars, it would add it to my Google calendar. So it does have that flexibility, but it's always good to try the same one so you avoid any potential issues. Um, always good to plan your schedule on a cloud-based calendar. Again, uh, digital calendar, cloud-based, it saves it. So any device you use it on, any computer, any phone, uh, it will always have it there for you and you'll never forget. Um, it also sends your reminders on your phone as well. Sort your digital files into clear and simple folders. So it's always good to have, you know, your folders set out. When we're doing our work, we all like to set out all the digital content for our teachers. I set it out to year levels and I separate it to teaching. So we go year levels, subjects, and then in each subject will be a teacher's content and a student's content. So it's always about making sure that they're easy to use, but also very well organized. That's easy to navigate as well. So Emails, they can get very, very, very full. I know for myself, my emails, unread emails got to thousands um, because I'd read them and then I'd, I'd read some, but also I know when some don't need to be read at all. So it's always good to clear out your inbox, but it's also good to take that time to sit down and to go through your emails and respond to them. So we do recommend setting a time. Um, one of our workers sets a time on Monday to go through all the admin stuff. So, you know, on top of everything else I do, it's important to spend that time to go through everything you need, especially answering the emails and following up on tasks and everything else. Connecting with others for support and share best practice. Again, there's a lot of uh, common pages out there, especially on Facebook, Reddit, all that sort of stuff, where you have people with similar hobbies or similar jobs. Uh, for example, we have up here the Australian teachers. I know on Facebook, I was also part of a sign, which is... Uh, focusing on uh, how to help with kids with disabilities and learning issues. So things like that are very useful and there are a lot of people sharing their ideas, sharing what they do, but also helping each other to answer questions and everything else. Um, and some people don't want any information or anyone to know where it's coming from. They write a pretty generic one and they can post it as anonymous as well, which helps when getting answers for their tasks. Make sure to set and track, track personal goals. Um, goal setting is always important. We always like to make sure that we know what we're aiming for, we know when we're achieving it. It's always good to tick things off the list. You know, there are many free ones out there, but there's also paid ones. I personally don't use any of um, the paid ones. I just use a notepad and I tick it off as I go. But that's just for me. Obviously, different people have different preferences, but anything simple can be used to jot out what you want to complete and what your goals are. And this can help both in your personal life and your professional life as well. Finally, you can use Organize Yourself for simplifying your expense reports. Um, there's many applications out there. Um, for myself, whenever I need to take uh, to do things for work, for finance, 
I usually just take photos of things and then send them in one big email. But there's a lot of programs out there that can uh, let you put all the content into one place, all the photos you take, all the receipts, all that sort of stuff. Allows you to keep track a bit better. Obviously, they're paid for, but it depends on what you want to do and what your workplace wants to do. But also, you can use it for your own personal expenditure as well. So these are just a few of the uh, tips and ideas of how to keep yourself organized with technology that we thought might be useful. So if there are any questions, please reach out to us again at lighthouseinternational.org. Uh, but we hope you have enjoyed this uh, chapter and we hope to hear from you again.